Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about body proteins. I'm talking about muscle, skin, nails, hair. I mean, your entire body is almost all protein. You have minerals, you have fat, but protein is necessary to replace the body tissue. So I want to talk about some factors because it's a little bit um, involved with uh, some complexities. It's not just a matter of eating any old protein to replace your body parts. If you replace um, your body with poor raw materials, you are going to have problems with. You're just going to not look healthy. You're going to look kind of ragged. You're going to look kind of, you know, wrinkly. You're going to have loose skin. So we're going to go through all the factors to make sure that your body stays beautiful throughout your whole life. Does that sound good? Number one, incomplete proteins. So if you're doing trying to get your uh, proteins from rice or beans or or vegetables. Um, you really have to know what you're doing because you can be have an incomplete amino acid profile. Um, that's why it's much easier to get a complete protein from animal sources. Specifically, eggs uh, are a real good complete source. It's probably the best source of amino acid. Uh, seafood is a good one. Uh, fish in general. Um, those are all really, really uh, complete proteins. All right. Um, there are amino acids in vegetables, but it's not complete. It has some. So that's one thing. You have to also make sure that the quality of protein is high. You don't want to do soy protein isolates. So when you buy those protein bars or your shakes, you got to make sure that it's high quality. You want something that is uh, non-GMO. Uh, you don't want to do soy protein. You want to do whole proteins, if at all possible. And you just don't want to do like some cheap, um, like they have vegetable pro, uh, textured protein, like it's just not good. Also, when you add sugar to protein, you really accelerate the insulin spike to a major degree. So you never want to combine sugar with your protein. And again, it's in the protein bars. It's in all the different foods when you're taking like hamburger and uh, a bun or hamburger with a Coke or sugar, not good because you're going to raise insulin like way, way up there. Um, so insulin is a, going to create a lot of blood sugar problems and also belly fat, many other things. The other thing I'm going to talk about is hydrochloric acid. In your stomach, you have a very powerful stum uh, acid called hydrochloric acid. When you age, you deplete the acids in the stomach. When you don't have enough stomach, um, stomach acid, you have a lack of protein digestion. You also have a lack of mineral absorption too. So the purpose of the stomach is to break down proteins. That's a big purpose. So if you're not breaking down proteins, you're going to get putrefaction, and that's called gas, indigestion, acid reflux, GERD, that all occurs in that same low acid state. If you have good acid in the stomach, you can break down collagen and have healthy tendons, ligaments, uh, good connective tissue, so you're nice and strong and tight. Um, but hydrochloric acid is probably the single most common deficiency that I see in a lot of people, especially when they get older. Thus, the apple cider vinegar, tablets, or drink that you should do. But this is a really common thing, especially if the food sits there. And one of the big symptoms of uh, hydrochloric acid deficiency is acid reflux. Yeah. So we need to uh, have strong acid to be able to break down proteins. Okay. Trace minerals. You need minerals, potassium, but also you need trace minerals. Trace minerals are minerals required in small amounts to be able to metabolize these proteins. See, the trace minerals are involved in all the cellular mechanics of, of protein. So your body takes protein as a raw material and builds immune cells and hair cells and ligaments. But to do that, they need a lot of enzymes. Enzymes are made from protein. Enzymes need trace minerals. The DNA needs trace minerals. So all the metabolism and your uh, energy factories need minerals, trace minerals. So if you don't have trace minerals, you'll find that you're, it's very hard to grow hair or nails or connective tissue. Okay? The problem is in our soils, we don't have enough trace minerals. So you end up having empty f nutrition from in your foods and you, and you start wondering why the hair falls out. So trace minerals are important. Certain B vitamins, specifically biotin, B6, B5 are all required for protein digestion. And it's not, not just a matter of trying to eat foods high in B vitamins. It's trying to avoid the foods that deplete the B vitamins, like the bread, sugar, pasta, crackers, alcohol. Those are the things that will deplete the B vitamins. Okay? Nutritional yeast is the best source 
of B vitamins, okay? You can get it from the health store. Quantity. If you're doing too much protein, and, and this is a big mistake, doing six protein meals a day, having snacks of protein between meals, having large amount of protein is a bad idea because it's going to spike insulin. So anything more than about 25 to 30 to 35 grams of protein per meal is converted to sugar. It's going to spike insulin. So what does that mean? It means just consume small amounts of protein, maybe three to six ounces. That's enough. Okay? That's enough protein. Uh, if your metabolism is really, really fast, maybe you can do a little bit more. But for most people, three to six ounces. So it's not that much, like the palm of your hand, maybe a little smaller, and sometimes not even three times a day, sometimes twice a day. Uh, we don't need as much protein as we think, and if you do too much, you, it's not going to help your hair or your muscles. Okay? Um, and I know there's some controversy about that, saying, oh, if I don't eat enough protein, I'm not going to have muscle strength. Uh, that's, a, that's not true because what builds muscle is a combination of uh, hormones and, and protein and, mean, and actually healthy foods and exercise and things like that and weight training, not just eating more protein. If, in fact, the more protein you eat, the more you're going to clog your liver up and then you're going to not be able to utilize that protein effectively. So the liver is a factor in protein metabolism too. So raw versus cooked. When we eat the majority of our food cooked and then you add pasta, and breads and starches and sugar, bad. Because when you eat cooked protein, you're eating a dead protein. Your body has a harder time utilizing that protein. It has to work harder to break it down and, I mean, to utilize it and absorb it. So cooked protein, too much of that destroys the liver and then it inhibits your ability to process protein. So what does that mean? Does it mean that you're gonna drive up to McDonald's and have a raw hamburger? No, it means that you need to have less cooked vegetables, more raw vegetables, raw nuts. I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a video on how to germinate the nuts, which is soaking them in water overnight. I'll do that in another one, but raw nuts, raw seeds, those are good. Um, not overly cooked um, meats, so maybe like medium or rare. That would be better. Okay, so the point is that we need more raw foods in the diet. So these are just some factors that you might want to uh, utilize to actually improve your own body tissues protein, okay? I'll see you in the next video.